Hi guys, this is a very very important video especially for the working people because this question is going to come to you where whether I should keep working or I should resign from the job and prepare for MBA. Fine, this, this, this question is there coming especially in these days uh, from a lot of my, my, my students so I thought of making a video out of that because again if everyone will have the similar query. Fine, so we'll start with the first of all MBA versus job but what we'll get in the job and what will you get with the MBA. Fine, just to make sure that why MBA is important. All right, let's do a comparative here of a person doing job and person who doing that does MBA and what's going to happen to them over the next five years. Now to start with, on an average, a person join who is working will be working around three lakh package. You might be earning five, you might be earning two, but on an average, I'm taking three to four lakh. Fine. In next three to five years, you will be making the salary double. If you do good, if you outperform, you will make a from three to eight or three to six. Fine. This is a package you can expect. Fine, increase provided the market is good provided everything is normal provided everything is you are again outperforming every year so you can expect a salary of double or two and a half times fine so three from 20,000 25,000 per month I can go max up to 60 to 70,000 per, per month per month after seven years yep for, sorry after five years now let's take an MB example a uh, brand, brand a college like IMS SPJ and Jamal Bajaj will give you an average package of around 12 to 15 lakh fine so that's probably around 1 lakh per month band B Narsimonji uh, IMT Ghaziabad all these colleges will give you a package of around 9 to 10 lakh band C fine for example SIS which is the kind of a worst case example if I want to give any band C I'm not just naming SIS for the sake I'm not considering it to be bad college but worst case even if you join SIS college or another good college decent enough college you will expect a package of 6 to 8 lakh so what I'm saying is, for an MBA prep, the worst case scenario is equal to the best case scenario of a working grade. Yep, best case, job's best case is equal to MBA's worst case. So this was just to prove you that why MBA is important and why you should do that. Yep. Alright, now we move to the challenges and all. What are the challenges you're going to face? If you leave your job, yes, the profile will get uh, screwed up. Yes, obviously because you have quit your job frustration will start coming in because if you're not able to score in the mocks fine if you're scoring 95 uh, sorry 80 70 60 percent in the mocks then the fr fr frustration and depression will start coming in fine and last is the finances obviously because you have to uh, get support from your parents then obviously there will be a financial crunch which you will feel on that fine but don't worry these are all short term problems and none of this problem will have an impact on your futures don't worry so advantages you'll have is study time you'll get enough study time to prepare and it's a single agenda in your mind is to work hard you don't need to do a job you don't need to spend your premium time at job you are going to spend only your premium time on studies and that's the main advantage fine it's like burning the bridges if i if i take example here so if you burn the bridges behind you yet you can't go back fine so we will perform this year. So for those who are trying to leave, leave job, yes, you can go over this. Even I did that. I was working and I quit my job around two and a half months before the exam. Fine. This was the right decision I took. Yes. Even I felt the same thing that I was not able to prepare. I was able to prepare, but not. I wasn't able to get a good marks. But because I quit my job, I was able to perform, outperform, and I score well. Fine. So same thing I'm recommending to you as well. If you are trying to quit your job, do it. Half a time, it's much better to do it full time rather than half a time. I've seen many people, especially IT people, they are taking exam every year. I know students who are taking CAT for last three years without studying. It makes no sense. It's ra rather do it once and do it mm, nicely. Fine. So what I'm recommending to you is, okay, if you're trying to quit your job, do it now so that you get three, four months time to prepare for the exam. All right. For example, if I want to give you a couple of examples, we had uh, Sujit Kumar. Fine who uh, quit his job, studied for one year, couldn't crack CAT, but was CMAT rank 2. Fine, good example. Whereas on the other hand, we have uh, Jaspinder Singh, who was a final year student, and he got 12 IM calls, converted all of them, without any work cakes. Fine. On the other hand, we have Shashank uh, Patodia, who was working, and while working, he was CMAT ka topper, Narsi Manji ka topper. Fine. So there are different examples. All of them have done one. So it doesn't matter at all what you have been doing. If you have, if you want to quit, if you don't want to quit, 
doesn't make no but if you are unable to spend 4 hours a day is a must then it's better quit and do it full time rather than waste your time see that moment uh, if i give you my example my starting salary after me was around 12 lakh fine i was not that happy with my salary and that i was more uh, concerned about my friends who are fresher and again earning 12 lakh fine so what i felt that two years which i worked before my mba at average package of 3 lakhs was a waste of my time i should have done done my mba earlier so as soon as, as soon as you get into mba that will be more much and more and more better for you fine so no worries you can leave, leave, leave your job i would i will support you no problem at all yes the pain question is profile that you will uh, screw up your profile so what we'll do is rather than just sitting at home we'll do some certification course like nars and cfm fine or we do we work with an ngo or work with part time i have for example option for all my classroom student that they can join us back and work with me part time fine the objective is to talk in the interview say in the interview that yes before my mba i quit my job which is the which is the main reason for you quitting no problem but rather than sitting home i was working i was working part time on these this assignment fine that is just to cover up the gap so no problem at all you can go ahead with that and main thing is score in india if you want to do mba main score if you are able to cross 99 percentile trust me all your pops all your bad thing will go away no problem all you need is a good score if you are unable to score yes all this will again come back yep all right so main question now comes when to quit job fine if i for example taking the cat ka example if cat is in uh, november first week 3 months before the exam is i'll tell so you should be free by july end so august september october 3 months we can dedicate for cat so for because as a indian student we cannot study for more, more than that time 3 months is more than sufficient for the exam fine if you for example preparing for cet exam which is going to be in feb 15 fine so if you plan to plan 15 so january december november 15 you should be free so 3 months is more than sufficient indian student cannot study for more than 3 months if any of your friends who have prepared for cat last year asking how many months he studied he might have joined classes 6 months before the exam he might have started buying books 6 months before the exam but the real study start 3 months fine so 3 months is again i'm looking for if you want to quit quit 3 months before and do not quit 10 months 8 months before the exam fine i don't want you to fall flat i don't want you to start your preparation to high note and then end up with a low level rather i want your studies to go up like this start at the easy level 2 to 2 hours a day then gradually increase the number of hours fine that's a brilliant strategy which works yep all right so if you have any other doubts you can call us on 9820532380 or more information on cetking.com i've given my facebook link on cetking.com as well so you can join me on facebook if you have any more doubts all right all the best thank you